Welcome to Weather Extra on CBS News Bay Area. I'm KPIX 5 meteorologist Paul Hagen. Every week, we're taking a closer look at a weather topic, a deeper dive than what we can do within our daily weather casts on KPIX. This week, I want to talk about extreme weather nationwide, specifically the frequency of billion dollar weather disasters. The devastation wrought by hurricanes Fiona, Ian, and Nicole in Puerto Rico, Florida, and the Carolinas has once again thrust weather and climate disasters to the forefront of the nation's attention. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, that's NOAA, the U.S. has ex experienced 15 weather and climate disasters with losses exceeding $1 billion each through September of 2022. Now, last week's tornado outbreak in the South might be the 16th, and Hurricane Nicole likely the 17th billion dollar disaster. The total cost of these disasters through the end of September was a whopping $29.3 billion. But adding up the final costs will take long after the end of the year to complete. The costly and deadly billion-dollar disasters of 2022 so far have included an April tornado outbreak in the southeast that spawned 88 tornadoes, including several intense long-track tornadoes in Georgia and South Carolina, a May hailstorm that left large swaths of a golf ball-sized hail across Minnesota, Wisconsin, and South Dakota, a destructive, long-duration thunderstorm wind event that produced widespread 70-plus mile-an-hour wind gusts across the Midwest, and of course, Hurricane Fiona, Hurricane Ian, and Hurricane Nicole. Historically, hurricanes and tropical cyclones are the most costly disasters by far, averaging $21 billion of damage per event, more than double the average toll of the next most costly event type, which is drought. This year's extreme weather costs reflect an increasing trend in billion-dollar disasters across the United States. Each decade since the 1980s has produced more billion-dollar disasters and higher costs than the decade before, even adjusting for inflation. Over just the last five years, 2017 to 2021, a total of 89 events caused an estimated 4,557 deaths and over $788 billion in damage. And 2022 is the eighth consecutive year with 10 or more billion dollar weather and climate related disasters. The long term annual average is about seven of those disasters per year. 2022 follows the record-shattering annual totals of 22 disasters in 2020, another 20 such events in 2021. But it's not just the total number of disasters that strains the resources available for communities to manage risks and recover quickly. It's how often they occur. Between 1980 and 2021, the time between billion-dollar disasters in a calendar year has dropped steadily, according to an analysis by Climate Central. The average time between these billion dollar disasters has dropped from 82 days in the 1980s to 26 days in the 2010s. And now over the last five years, there have been just 18 days on average between billion dollar disasters. In 2020 alone, there were as little as two weeks on average between the record 22 different billion dollar disasters. That's important because less time between these disasters can mean less time, fewer resources available to respond to, recover from, and prepare for future events. Furthermore, the highest costs have resulted when multiple disasters occur in the same region in the same season, straining local resources. We saw this during the Atlantic hurricane seasons of 2005 and 2017. These staggering numbers primarily reflect direct impacts on assets, including damage to homes, crops, infrastructure, but that doesn't reflect the full toll of the disasters, including on public health and especially mental health. According to the American Public Health Association, up to 54% of adults and 45% of children suffered depression after a weather-related disaster. Other mental health impacts of climate change include climate anxiety, post-traumatic stress, and even suicide. Weather and climate-related disasters can also result in widespread power outages, as occurred in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Fiona hit, displacement, and limited or unsafe food and water supplies, as well as a loss of cultural heritage, biodiversity, and habitats. The raw statistics also don't convey the disproportionate impacts of disasters on people already in poverty or the need for equitable allocation of federal disaster assistance in, accord, in accordance with social vulnerability. According to the latest reports from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, it is an established fact that human-caused greenhouse gas emissions have led to an increased frequency and intensity of weather and climate extremes 
since pre-industrial times, and these trends are projected to continue with additional warming. The ambition of the Paris Climate Agreement, which is to limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2100, is very likely to be exceeded by the mid-2040s, at the latest, without rapid emissions cuts. Recently, nearly 200 nations convened at the United Nations Climate Change Conference to accelerate climate action. Without that kind of progress, we can expect even more frequent and intense billion-dollar disasters in the future. That's it for this week's Weather Extra. Meteorologist Darren Peck will be back next week to cover another topic. And we are always looking for new ideas for these segments. If you have a weather or climate question, just email it to weatherextra at kpix.cbs.com.